Welcome back to the uh, Tinnitus Treatment Channel and I'm going to be going over TRT or Tinnitus Retraining Therapy today. So the whole point of this video is to give an introduction um, into what this is and uh, I guess give you a better understanding of how it relates to uh, the condition of tinnitus. Alright, so um, this uh, theory came about from this gentleman here uh, he goes by the name of Pavel Yastrogov, and basically he was a well he was a neuroscientist, and in the 1980s he sort of turned conventional thinking on its head, because most people thought that tinnitus came about from your ears being damaged. However, he totally dismissed this theory and replaced it with his of TRT. Now by the 1990s, actually in 1990, he released his model and to this day it actually is the authority on, um, on Tenerife's treatment. And um, yeah, everyone's very thankful that he did. Now what he does is he breaks down, um, basically the way, the way he breaks it down is that people will develop tinnitus through two different ways. The first way um, is through misophonia. And this is basically what it means is that, that you dislike environmental sounds. And the second one is hypercorsis. And this is when um, environmental sounds bother you, but they don't normally bother other people. And by environmental sounds, it can be anything. It, it doesn't mean you know sounds outside. It can be any sound, really, that... Uh, uh, that, that, is, that is in the place that you're in, that you live, the environment that's around you. Um, so the theory is um, that your tinnitus occurs, it'll, you'll, you'll start to hear a ringing or a buzzing sound in your ears and you won't know where it, when it started. And basically the model says that your subconscious will link to this sound. You, you dislike this sound and your subconscious will link to it and will basically link the thought of tinnitus and this sound together. So that when you finally perceive what the sound is, to you, your perception of that sound is that it is tinnitus. Now what I'm going to do is try and explain that a, a little bit more. So let's have a look at this model here. So this is how TRT relates our hearing process to tinnitus. So let's look at this. Three basic steps. The first step is that when there is a sound that happens, the first place you hear it is in the cochlea. Okay? Now, this is where the sound vibrations are changed to electrical patterns, and this is in the nerve of hearing. So when there is a sound, right, the vibration from that sound will be will be changed into an electrical pattern in the cochlea. The next step is that this electrical patterns will go through your subconscious, your subconscious pathways to be more exact. Now this is where categorization and sorting out of the sound patterns is prepared and and so your subconscious is basically sorting out these electrical signals that are being sent to it and it's going okay well that needs to be categorized here, and this needs to be sorted here, this, this is a positive, this is a negative, w what is it? Um, it basically prepares it for your auditory cortex, and the auditory cortex is simply where sound is perceived. Okay, so let's look at an example. So let's say, um, okay, there's an example of a loud bang. Whenever there is a loud and a sudden bang, that vibration will go into your cochlea, be turned into an electrical signal, electrical, electrical pattern, sorry. Your subconscious reads that and goes, right, a loud bang. So that means that you need to be, that you need to be surprised and you need to be a little bit scared, you know? And then your auditory cortex will make you react in a way that, oh, bang, I'm scared or I'm excited or that took me unaware. It can also go the other way. So, for example, running water can be perceived in different ways by different people. Some people with running water, um, their reaction is they want to go to the toilet. While for other people, their reaction might be that it relaxes them. While to other people, running water might be annoying to them. 
and hopefully through these examples you can start to understand how tinnitus can occur in this way. If there's a negative link in your subconscious to that sound and that does link to the thought of tinnitus then it won't go away. It'll stay there and that buzzing will not leave. So how do we treat this? Well the treatment is about retraining your subconscious and that's how TRT works. It's about retraining your subconscious to accept this sound not to have a negative meaning and not to be related to tinnitus and to give tinnitus a different I guess meaning with your subconscious. Now I know it might sound a little bit confusing but look I've written this all down it is on our website so probably best to go have a look for yourself it's at www.treatmenttinnitus.org and I've put a link just near the website uh, that goes directly to the page regarding TNIT. So go in there and have a look um, and it'll be a lot easier to understand when you read it. Maybe watch the video at the same time as well. Um, but I will be posting up another video about TRT treatment and go into more depth about how this model is used to treat and cure your tinnitus. Alright, we'll be seeing you soon.